This is Minecraft 1.21.10 with mods, with fabric, and I'm gonna teach you how to get fabric 1.21.10 super easy in this video. Let's go. Okay, so the first step to get fabric is to click the second link in the description, which is our quick guide on how to install fabric in case this video is too fast for you. But if you wanna go straight to the point, just go down to step one, press on the fabric button, that is going to redirect you to the fabric page where we're going to hit download universal jar, and I'll begin the download right away for the installer of fabric. I want you to place this file in your desktop. You can usually find it here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder on your PC. See. Go ahead and place it in your desktop. That's a fabric installer. Now, after downloading fabric, we're going to click on the third link in the description, which is the fabric API. If you ever installed fabric in the past, you know that the fabric API is required for most mods to work with fabric. So click on the third link, select game version, select 1.21.10 and hit download right here and that will download the fabric API. Now, after that, if you want to download any mod that you want to add to fabric, that's up to you. That's optional. I already downloaded a mod to test it out. It's the Saeros minimap, which you can find in the fourth link in the description in case you want to add it you don't have to it's just optional if you want to test out fabric once we install it right i'm going to leave the link in the description as well but once fabric has been downloaded i want you to place it in your desktop and if you have any other mod like i said this will be a good time to get it out into your desktop as well now once you have these files downloaded i want you to go ahead and close your game as well as your minecraft launcher and it's very important that you have played minecraft 1.21.10 at least once on your computer after that you're going to double click on the fabric installer that is going to open the installer like this and you're going to select 1.21.10 and then hit install and if the installer didn't open and by the way, it's telling me here that I don't have the launcher closed. So that's my bad. Let me close it. Let's go ahead and hit yes. If the installer doesn't open for Fabric, by the way, that's probably because you don't have Java 21. Java 21 is a requirement when modding Minecraft, especially Minecraft 1.21.10. So I'm going to leave you this article in the description where you could just read through it super quick. Pretty much you just download Java 21, hit next a couple of times, and then you have it installed. And that will let you open jar files. Thus, it will let you open the Fabric installer or any other mod from Minecraft. Okay. Remember, it's a requirement. Now, let's suppose that you install java or you probably already had it you were able to install fabric now let's go ahead and press ok in here let's close the fabric installer and let's delete it from our desktop because we don't need it anymore now it's time to add the fabric api as well as the saeros minimap or whatever other mod that you have or maybe you don't even have any other mod into the mods folder okay here's how to do that go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and if you install fabric properly you should see it selected here automatically that's the case for me as you can see down there fabric loader 1.21.10 but that doesn't matter because we're not going to hit play just yet. We're going to head over to installations and in here, we're going to make sure we select modded on the top because without modded, we actually won't see fabric. So select modded. And once you see fabric, you're going to hover over it and you're going to press open installations folder. That is going to open the installation folder of Minecraft. And in here, there should be a folder called mods, M-O-D-S, as you can see right here. And if you don't have a mods folder, don't worry. I'm going to actually delete mine to show you what to do. If you don't have a mods folder, you're going to press new, you're going to press folder and you're going to name it mods, M-O-D-S. Yes, that's it. If you don't have a mods folder, just go ahead and create it yourself. Now into this mod folder, we're going to obviously add the mods as well as the fabric API, the files that we have in our desktop. Just go ahead and drag and drop them into here. And if you're adding any other mod into your mods folder, just make sure they are compatible with fabric 1.21.10. If you have forged mods, they won't work. It will probably crash your game. So don't add forge mods into here, just fabric 1.21.10. Now, once you have every mod in here, including the fabric API, you could close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and it's time to test your game with mods. Just go ahead and hit play right here on the fabric loader. If it's the first time you're launching fabric, you might get a little prompt, just read through it and then hit play and you'll be inside the game in no time. Now, playing with mods is fun, but it's even better if you play with friends and you could do so by using the first link in the description to create a server with Apex hosting. Now, not only do they support fabric or any other mod loader and even mod packs like over 300 mod packs with just a click of a button, but they also have locations all around the world. So you don't have to worry about lagging. And the great thing is that the first 50 people to use the first link in the description will get 35% off with Apex hosting, which is an insane deal. Okay. They're already good by themselves, but getting a discount on your first server, it's just amazing. First link in the description, you'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting a great deal. Now, once Minecraft has opened, it should look like regular Minecraft, except it says fabric down here. That's a good sign. We install fabric properly, but let's go ahead and launch a world by clicking single player and launching one of your worlds or you could create a new world if you want to and if you're going to use this on multiplayer and you're playing on a server the server needs to have fabric installed and it needs to have the same mods that you're running on your computer if you don't know how to do that we have videos on the channel or you could just use apex hosting in the first link in the description but once we're inside our single player world as you can see our minimap is loading on the top left meaning that we install fabric properly and that our mods are running with no trouble and since we have saeros and let's say that you also install it if you press y on your keyboard you'll be able to access the settings of saeros you'll be able to change the position the size the shape whatever you want to do and now you have to let it load and that is it guys how to get fabric 1.21.10 if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time